Hi, it's Dasha and the next uh, period on our list would be the Roman architecture, but uh, guess what? The Romans only stole what the Greeks had, so I don't see a uh, reason to repeat that. And I wanted to show you a little bit of a treasure uh, in the middle of London. I just showed you where it is, Gresham Street and such, um, so you can find it if you want to. And it's in the city where the banks are and no one realizes, I mean no one, a lot of people don't realize that the city part where the banks are is actually the oldest part of London. It's over 2000 years old in terms of architecture. So the Romans came here 2000 years ago more or less and what you just saw was a part of the wall they built and this is the continuation of the wall just below the uh, London Museum which you see right now and um, they made it quite cute I must say there you go these are the streets London today the Roman sites you can see and some of their uh, buildings and structures and Civic Center the Forum and Basilica and I'll let you enjoy this just uh, in the eastern entrance into the Roman Amphitheatre so behind us is this corridor that takes us off into the arena and it seated about 7,000 people which is about a third of the population of London. So in the arena you have a large oval area of sand which is where the action takes place and then around the arena you have tiers of seats just like you would get in a modern sports stadium. So a full day at the games in the morning you have the hunting of animals around about lunchtime execution of criminals and then in the afternoon you have the gladiatorial combats where you have different gladiators fighting each other. There are different reasons that people might become a gladiator. It might be a criminal sentence which is an ad ludos which means to the games so you have to fight as a gladiator for three years and if you survive then you're free. Um, you might just sign up to be a gladiator because you're very poor. And so I have actually been to the Guildhall and I've seen the amphitheatre. Um, so it's amazing to experience the ambience there. Um, so I can totally recommend you to, to go and see it for yourself. So there's uh, the other part of the wall. There are more bits and pieces like a tower hill where I didn't go right now. But go and see it for yourself. Um, here's a little bit of the inside of um, a Roman house and it's lovely. Go to, to the London Museum, it's for free. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and we're showing another st uh, style next time. And if you want to go for a walk, actually, you can do the London wall walk. There you go. See ya. Bye.